I hope you're having an elementary good day. <laughs> because the game is afoot! <laughs> As I review the underrated 80s classic, Young Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes has been popular for many years to come, through books, through movies, and TV. He has inspired such detectives as Columbo, Monk, and even the Doctor, House. I know House is a medical drama, but there are some elements I heard that were inspired off of Sherlock Holmes. Hencing his name, House and Holmes, can't you see the... well, you know. And as a kid, when I first saw this, I knew a little bit about Sherlock Holmes, but I didn't know enough. I remember watching a... A movie on HBO about Sherlock Holmes, but I don't remember much about it. But when I saw the trailer to this, I was intrigued. <laughs> it looked like a good mystery, a good mystery to enjoy. And my dad took me to see this, and boy, was I super excited! <laughs> now, uh, I like the way the opening credits before the movie begins it tell you this movie is not specifically based on the this is not based on any novel by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle who created Sherlock Holmes this is its own thing I like the way it does pay homage to the beloved writer the film is about John Watson played by Alan Cox who is transferred to a to a boarding school named Brompton. And there he meets Sherlock Holmes, played by Nicholas Rowe. A friendly but very intelligent student who looks at everything in the deductive-minded reasoning way. He is very good at being observant. And the beginning, when they first meet, can tell you how well observed he is. Holmes has a thing for Elizabeth, played by Sophia Ward, who lives on the school grounds with her uncle, who is a, a former teacher. But then, certain men are being hit with darts that cause hallucinations. And it which ultimately leads to their death. Holmes begins to think all these deaths are connected somehow. He, Watson and Elizabeth, set out to solve the murders. The sudden... But will they succeed? Well, you're going to have to see the movie to find out. Hmm. I gotta say, I think this movie was intended... For uh, to get a younger audience into Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I mean, I like the way it, despite its title, Young Sherlock Holmes, it's not, it's not overly kid-friendly. No, it's like the Goonies. It kind of blurs that line between being kid-friendly and edgy and being an edgy adult kind of thriller. <laughs> I think it blurs the line quite well. Nicholas Rowe is great as the title character. I think, nothing against Robert Downey Jr., but I think he was better than, I think he was better than him because he plays it very seriously. But at the same time, he, he manages to display a few lighter moments without getting too campy. And which I think, Nicholas Rowe did well. I mean, it's clear he did his homework on Sherlock Holmes, and you just really see it in his performance. <laughs> and Alan Cox, who of course is the son of actor Brian Cox, is also good as John Watson. I mean, he and Rowe really play off each other perfectly. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's clear that Watson is intelligent, but he's very awkward, but a joy to watch. And so is Sophia Ward as Elizabeth. Now, I would have loved to have seen 
Nicholas Rowe and Alan Cox reprise their roles in a again, but but we're not. But that didn't happen. I love Watson, the older Watson's narrative, how he tells the story, and it's just very well done. The mystery element is good, and uh, and the three leads just kind of play off each other pretty well. I mean, you just and Barry Levinson's and Barry Levinson's direction is almost perfect. <laughs> Chris Columbus wrote the film. People said this movie is not a typical Sherlock Holmes movie. This movie, he said, this movie is more about the kind of guy before he becomes that character, what led, leads him to become the person he is. So I'll give young Sherlock Holmes a 10 out of 10. Elementary.